Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to introduce you to our brand new 2024 Ram 2500. Uh, we'll give you a, a bit of a tour here, tell you some things that we like and some things that we don't like, which there's very few. Now, I will say, if you had asked me about uh, my, well, my very first Ram, which was a 2017 2500 Laramie Longhorn, almost identical, other than being, you know, a few options, a few colors, I would have said the only thing I didn't like, the only single thing was probably the exterior color in black. We fixed that this time around and they've changed a few things. So let's get started. First off, if uh, you don't like Ram's designs, you're obviously just wrong. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, this is a great, I mean, I love this truck and it is pretty handy, even, even dirty with the blood splatters because we have almost 500 miles on it now, driving it back from the dealership and then a little bit of running around today. It's a pretty good looking truck, right? It is. You can option it with a, or you, it comes standard with a chrome package, but we got the night, night cab. That's a night, yeah. Uh, ooh, I don't even know. It's like the night package. The night package, which gives you the blacked out grill and a couple, and like blacked out wheels and other things that um, basically just eliminates the chrome. Yep. Now, I, personally, I would not have picked it, but that's just what they had on the lot, and this is the best deal that we could get. They, I really like it, personally. And they do have, the LED, so there's an LED lamp in here that actually uses a reflector uh, behind there, uh, basically little mirrors on you know either side. Also LED lamps below, LED, kind of a nice slick there. More LEDs up there for the clearance lamps, which I really like. Um, there's, I think they're standard on the dualies, uh, an option on these. And then these are full time running lamps, which is actually something that did not used to exist on these new mirrors. And speaking of these mirrors, you you like you got used to them pretty quickly. Uh, when I was driving them, they were weird at first, but then they were. I actually didn't mind them after I started driving. I got used to them. Yeah. They definitely still are not as good as the moose mirrors, though. The previous mirrors that you could flop this way or flop this way. Um, I would prefer if they were a little taller, and, and this convex mirror was a little wider. Um, that, it's useful. It's it's usable rather, um, but you know, there's that. You can see. Um, black badging which is kind of cool it is of course it's a cummins 6.7 liter inline six uh turbo diesel and i've had this same engine before and it's fantastic it's not the high output engine uh that you can get on a 3500 uh, but it is just fine and before we move you know past the front which again i think it's a fantastic looking truck i think the ram is really knocks it out of the park the one thing I don't like is the hood. We have, you have a little bit of plastic and I don't know why they put this in here, um, but it actually, it's a little flexible. Uh, you can see that. And the same thing here, like it's a little flexible. It's just this extra plastic. They didn't need to add it. Uh, they wanted to give it something, but it, it, these are not active ventilation, right? Uh, on the, uh, hell, you know, it's with the Hellcat, right? Those are actually like, there's a big hole in your hood for extra ventilation. Uh, this is not functional. And not only that, but they've added this huge hump that did not used to exist. It all used to be pretty level here. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, even 20, early 2024 models, because um, again, this is not, I thought it might've been like a high output version that like would all have this. Uh, the earlier versions, I believe I saw, did not have this hood. So something has changed recently. I can't say why. Somebody said something about it being that like there's more room for air to like enter under or through the grill and then up and circulate around the engine above it, but. We'll take a look at that. I don't see any evidence of that myself, but you know, whatever. Um, and by the way, again, there's no chrome here. I don't care. I don't think chrome really adds that much, but again, you can get like a sliver of chrome, just like not extra chrome, just a sliver like here and a few touches here and there. And I think that looks pretty sick. Also, they have a bunch of like, um uh, sensors and so when you're uh, the reason i don't like this hood not only does it just look bigger than it has to uh but it, you really it can be kind of hard to get used to you know telling uh not only where the edge of the vehicle is because now it looks you know a little farther out uh but like you just can't see very well uh, you know it would be really easy to hit somebody up to like seven years old uh here and just no i have no clue this part of the cab, I mean, it's pretty much identical since, uh, I want to say like 20, uh, what, 2010, basically, something like that, 2011. Um, it's been a while, and I don't think it's bad. I think it's it has a nice soft appearance. You know, the front is good and rugged. That really has changed a little bit, but uh, for the most part, I mean, it's it's a, it's a got nice lines to it. It's not, you know, there's no stupid, like, extra bit that comes over for no reason, right? There's no, 
little flare there. Uh, it's not too boxy, but it does look, you know, it's a, it's kind of a chunky boy look, you know, but it does look like it can take care of business, you know, if you had to. Um, I will say the one thing that's kind of interesting about this one, slightly different. So I used to have a six foot four bed on the first truck we had, then eight foot on the truck we had, which that's a big one. Um, and I'll show sure why we went with an, a six, you know, short bed again. This is actually six foot three though, which I thought was interesting. I just found it's an inch shorter. For what we do, this is easier. So the ride quality is a little better. I've noticed it's a little better. And being a 2500 also that the has springs in the back instead of leaf, leaf springs, it uses coil springs, uh, so which helps a lot. Um, you don't get as much payload with that, but you know, give and take, right? The quality of the, and then the way that we tow, so this can tow up to 19,990 pounds from what we've been told, um, with I think 3,000 something pounds of payload, uh, something like that. Uh, which is more than enough for what we have ever done. So right. our air, it towed our Airstream just fine. Truck camper, I would not put that in here, but it does have a fifth wheel prep package. So you can do uh, some fifth wheels in this. I wouldn't like put a 22,000 pound fifth wheel behind this. That's insane. Uh, so, you know, that, that is the thing. It, it makes it a little easier to park, which is not a characteristic I care about at all, but it is like something that even today we found it, was it kind of nice. It is kind of nice, yeah, that it's just a little easier to park. You know, it, but it was really just like, hey, what are we going to use this truck for ultimately? What have we used these trucks for in the past? When we had the eight foot bed, what did we ever use that for? But really, it was for our bikes in the back, and we have bike racks. Yeah. So we, and we're not going to put an electric bike inside here, you know? So that's pretty good. Um, of course, we do have that rear sliding window, and you can see uh, the upper stop lamp is black, which uh, compared to just like a red lamp, it is a camera. So there's a camera there, and there's a camera here, along with all sorts of sensors in here. Um, and then it does have a, a, a see, basically a cross scene detection. So it's got radar in there, which is kind of neat. Obviously the bed liner, uh, we'll talk about that tailgate because that's kind of interesting. Yeah. It has a little lamp that will shine down here. Uh, I think it's kind of, yeah. kind of interesting. Sure, why not? So the tailgate is now soft open, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and before we talk about that, again, a fifth wheel prep package was kind of nice. Uh, we've always had these tie downs, and they, uh, well, because of the fifth wheel prep, you do have a seven out of four pin in there. It does have an inverted outlet up to 400 watts. Uh, you have lights in the bed, so here they, they added in there. These hooks in this time. Yep, I didn't have those. Before. I've never seen those before. Yeah, Which are, they kind of look like boat tie downs. Right. Slightly. Well, this is really easy to take out if you ever need to. And you can, again, you can see the backup camera. There's a light next to it. But the other interesting thing is, I love that rear badging. I think that looks so sick. So here's the key. And if we go ahead and double tap, that's that's so bougie. I legit had no idea that did that. Yeah, yeah, not funny. So. Does it put it back up too? It does not put it back up, no. But real men put up their own tailgates. There isn't like Ford has a little, you know, so that you don't like tear your dress when you're getting in and out. Um, they have a little step that will come out of here, drop down, and then you got your, your pole there. Um, <laughs> what the, I'm good. Here's the one thing that bugs me about this though, is that this looks like it should be a handle, right? And it is a cover for the, la the uh, 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 camera, but uh, it looks like it should move. There's just a button in there because it's that electronic latch. Less, uh, I want less complicated, but you know, I'll take it, whatever. I'll never use that drop feature. You know, I will always be back here because you never know, you don't want to hit something. So, and by the way, here's your four and seven pins there. That's just really nice. Uh, most trucks have a stuff built into the tailgate now. Which Ford has one like back here and here, I think it is, or something like that. Yep, and then this one, they, uh, this is an option that they added. But just, hey, this is kind of nice. It's only on this one side, but uh, versus I've always just grabbed on to the bed and pulled up. You did that even earlier. Yeah, I did that earlier. I didn't know this was here. Yeah, so, so that's kind of cool then. And it's actually pretty solid. You know, solid. It's, yeah. And by the way, this color is granite. Uh, I think it's a very I love this color. Yeah, I do too. The last two trucks we had were black because that's a very common truck color, uh, black and white. You almost rarely, almost never see blue or red. Uh, I love the red. There's something Dark about red, a Ram, yeah. Ram in the, in the red, but the gray though, yeah, the gray, you're seeing it more and more. Um, it's very nice because that's a good. For us, it's neutral. It's neutral. It's good. Yeah. So no matter what we're telling it should, 
Yeah. Um, I here's the interesting thing. So I know that the Ford, um, to their credit, has gone with all aluminum all around the other trucks. I don't know which parts of these, and we'll have to run a magnet. We can just use a magnet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know which parts of these yet are uh, like. Is that, I, I think that's an aluminum bed, which I'm a big fan of the aluminum uh, upgrades there. So, you know, that's the thing. I don't know. Um, the other thing that is an option on these, and I thought that we had. We were looking at a bunch of stickers and you're looking at trucks and trucks and trucks and trucks. This doesn't have a 50 gallon fuel tank, it has a 31 gallon fuel tank. So the 50 gallon is an option. Yep. Um, this doesn't have it and as a matter of fact, I thought it would matter more, but uh, we made it all the way from Spokane to uh, Federal Way, Washington yesterday. And I think we got to down to like half a tank, which is pretty good. Yeah. So. And it allows for more built in bathroom breaks on the trips. Oh yeah, yeah. And you know, it only takes five seconds to fill yeah. up really. But again, I love, so, Lots of clearance, let's talk about that. Lots of clearance. And part of that clearance is given to you by uh, the lack of, <laughs> there's no like step up into here. Um, you gotta pull yourself in. That's something we'll be changing. This truck is six foot eight inches tall. Yep. I am five foot seven, this is six foot eight. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get, you know, good perspective on that, but it's a, it's still a big, big truck, yeah. It's a very big truck. But we did fit into a parking garage today, so. Barely, like. Two inches to barely. spare, yeah. But uh, I think a lot of like even the Fords and the GMCs are a little bit shorter than this. Some are. I think that the Ford was pretty dang close, but I think a lot of the GMCs are a little bit shorter, which might lend itself actually to fuel economy. But um, yeah, now the Ford also, every Ford that we have seen actually comes with running boards and I'm not sure why that's not a standard on this. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't, I genuinely don't know, but it does have the off-road package, mm -hmm. uh, which gives you skid plates uh, and let me see, transfer, uh, cover skid uh, some skid plates here and there and then obviously four-wheel drive and it has some off-road software features uh, I believe this has I believe this has electronic lockers I could be wrong about that it is a 373 axle uh, yeah that's I mean it's, it's a pretty damn capable truck yeah we also we would got do. the cold weather package on mm -hmm. this truck which gives us like heaters in the back window which we've never had before and a block heater I think it's a block heater yeah 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 so that's I mean that's pretty um, pretty nice. I don't think we'll ever use it, but it's, it's kind of nice. And another look here. Uh, just a great over. I mean, it's got a more aggressive look this time around, whereas the last truck, uh, 27, well, 2017 and 2018 trucks, um, a little bit more mellow. I really like the look of this truck. Isn't it I nice? think it looks nice and mean. Does look, it does look mean. <laughs> and I love that these stay on again. I love that because it does make it easier, um, especially while you're, you're getting into a campground. You'll see that. We got a sunroof on this one. This actually kind of pushed us a little bit more towards this over the 3500. A sunroof was not something that we were like, we have to have it or we won't buy it, but it was something that we were like, it'd be really, really nice if we did have it. I'll show you the interior um, because it actually went out over the 3500 and that was actually a little bit heavier of a feature once we got into it. Yeah. Uh, and that's just, it's a visual thing because they both have a black interior, that, which is so nice because the last two trucks had a gray upper and a black lower. Now, just to recap, we got the, uh, so we were comparing this to a long bed 3500. The 3500 just ran uh, just as well, engine and transmission wise. Um, all specs were the similar, no sunroof, and the ride quality, because the 3500s have the leaf springs, for the way that we would use it, we wouldn't be loading it down enough. You, know, you bounce, little, kicks up. It's a little less comfortable to ride in. Like, and by a little, like a very little, like it's still comfortable, just not quite as comfortable. And I, I did notice that our turn radius was a little bit worse than that thing. Yeah. Like you actually feel like you're swinging versus like this doesn't, I mean, really, I mean, I don't feel like with the F-150, that was a real short box, like five feet something. I felt like we were sitting on the back axle almost, right? Yeah. So um, this does not feel like that, but it also, it feels balanced, I think. It does, yeah. Very balanced. Yeah. I really enjoy driving it. Yeah. So. Let's go inside and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, start in the back too. Let's we'll start in the back. I think that's a little less fun. Just the, the doors, you can see they actually add a kind of a faux wood trim. It's like a, it feels like a plastic here. And then a suede. And then this is a, it, it's not plastic. It's kind of like a rubber, almost like a PVC type material, but it's a soft touch material. Um, nice big handles. They, they are uh, giving you some storage in here and then your single uh, window. They do obviously like most of these trucks now, they, they tint the back. Um, I really like this, re like, th as a passenger, I think I'd be very comfortable. Yeah. So you can see that suede here, leather here, leather, leather, and then a little suede here. I thought that was kind of interesting. 
And yeah, hop up in there because the Ford uh, Super Duties definitely have more room back here. And Ram offers a stupid mega cab and it just gives you a chunky butt, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that. Um, you know, I know people do. I still think it's pretty damn good. Right. Well, that and like, I have plenty of leg room and I have long legs. Like. Yeah, got a lot of the light room here. Lots and of storage. You got a light up there. You got your speakers up there. There's a subwoofer under there. We'll show that. You got two cup holders here. You got two cup, cup holders here on the floor. You got two <laughs> cup holders here. Uh, you've got USB A's and USB C's. And you've got uh, a little slot you can slide your phone in. 110 there. Well, it's charging, so you can yeah. have it hang out. This uh, Laramie trim did come with the rubber mats, which is really, like, I don't know why they put cloth in any any vehicle at all, really, but, like, especially uh, a truck that is meant for work. I think that's the thing about the Rams, is that I found them to be extremely comfortable, mm -hmm. very reliable, but also very capable, mm -hmm. right? So, reliable, comfortable, capable. But, as we lift up these seats, they're super easy. Right here, so you got a little tab right there. There's a little bit of... Uh, yeah, a little bit of storage in there. That's not, yeah, it's not like a drainage, so you don't want to use that as like an ice box. Um, although I'm sure you, you could get away with that. And I liked these ones, unlike our last ones, I don't think those clipped in, did they? Mm -hmm. And then you do have a platform here with little feet. And everybody does this a little differently, but that's kind of nice. And then we got a little dog fur in here already. Uh, we always, we yeah, we basically always put this in this condition. Um, usually in the la in the past we have put like ru a rubber mat down. We put a few things like dog leashes under there, and uh, yeah, our dogs. I think the, I think we actually had them on the other side. But basically, this is how they ride. Uh, and then we have some other stuff here, yeah. which is pretty nice. And it's also interesting because they do give you some uh, LED lights in here. Um, and then yeah, these seats are very very nice, uh, but easily stows away. You still have some more room under there, which is kind of cool. Like. Yeah, not bad. Here, lift that one up. Anything fancy under there other than the sub? Let's see. Also, you got some hangers up there. It's kind of cool. And then we have that guy up there is actually for the cold. You know, so if you go into the uh, into the cold, that'll block some of the cold air from coming in, allowing you to warm up your, your truck a little more. I do find it funny how many cup holders there are in here. Uh, but if you lift that, there's our sub under there because this has an Alpine system. I, my gosh, I think it's eight or ten speakers i think there's one that has like 12 it's however you configure it uh but i think the back i mean it's simple but it's very nice yeah very nice lots yeah. of room very comfortable seats yep really good for you know whatever you want to put back here kids dogs stuff dead bodies and just to show you like even with me back here you know this is up um i do you know well, i guess i am yeah i'm I, what i'm about six foot yeah, I'm kind of touching here, but like if I lean lean down a little bit, it's not it's not too bad. Um, I don't I can't remember on the Super Duty. I think it was a little more spacious, but this really isn't bad in my opinion. And even as like a single seater, like there's more than enough room to, to sprawl out. And of course, your windows, by the way, nice big windows. Like I don't feel like yeah, I'm not like boxed in. Now the Super Duty, in my opinion, beat this by by a whole ton because that sunroof comes all the way back here. However, that doesn't matter because we never have passengers back here. We have the dogs. And so um, this beats that given that we have more insulation right here and less sun beating down on our stuff, on our dogs, um, why pay for extra windows up there? Uh, and theoretically, more metal in a crash is a little bit better than all glass. So. And there's this big slider here, like where the Ford just had a tiny little slide. Yeah, it was a little smaller, a little smaller, not much smaller, but like from the outside, I think it looked goofier, but no, this this is definitely my preference. Yeah. Yeah. And then the doors just have a bunch of storage in them too that you can stick books and toys and all sorts of stuff for kids or whatever. Now where the magic happened is of course is up front. So we do have uh, obviously more storage, a little bit of more storage. We never really use that, do we? Not really. Nothing, nothing, you know, just accumulates junk. They do give you a little like styrofoamy. That's kind of funny. More cup holders. The speakers are fantastic, aren't they? They're really good. They're yeah. really good. And adjustable too, so you can adjust them to your sound preferences. Yep, and I think uh, it's got plenty of bass. That's what's most important to me. Uh, and as you can see, we're already putting these floor mats to, to good use. I still think that like trucks should not have any soft materials like this uh, this carpet i don't think that should exist in a truck that's just me um the steering wheel okay so the steering wheel is very comfortable it's pretty nice 
This is the weakest part of this truck. This is my second complaint about this truck. This can go up and down, so tilt, but it cannot pull forward or backwards. They do give you power uh, pedals, which yeah, it only does so much, right? I, my, our old trucks, both, both old trucks did that. Um, so I don't know, I've heard that this was an engineering issue, like they couldn't make, that is a shame. I've become comfortable with it. Like I figured it out. I do have some slightly shorter arms than Emma, so you know, there's that, but. I also heard it was only on the heavy duty trucks that made this design choice. The 1500s can still uh, adjust tilt, push, pour. Yeah, it's a whole thing. So that's yeah. a consideration. But um, yeah, we very nice and they're decently comfortable seats. We still need to kind of break these ones in a little bit, but they're very comfortable. And you know, you can, you can adjust this guy a little bit or reset. Uh, <laughs> don't forget that because this can be very annoying after 200 miles. Um, forgetting to adjust that. Of course, it, it is power seats on both sides. And you know, let's just ergonomically, you know, I like this right here, but ergonomically, I love, let's take a look. So we do have push to start. I still like these realistic gauges. Uh, that's something that's kind of important to me because now a lot of these guys, and even if you spec it out on this Laramie trim, you can get a just one big screen there. I don't like that. I don't no, know. I don't like that either. You know, because we've, we've seen that screen may go out or eventually have LCD or LED uh, burn in. You know, things happen. These things, we've seen this on phones and computers. Um, <laughs> you can't just read anything on there? Like, is that, is that an issue now? So, um, yeah, that's, you know, that's something. Uh, there, there is a lot of customization in here, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a lot of information. And I, I especially like to see the, uh, on the turbo, that's kind of cool to see when you, uh, uh, how much turbo or how much um, exhaust brake, because that's a great feature on these. Of course, you have your, your windshield wipers, turn signals. Uh, it used to be that you could select your gear here. You can no longer do that. Um, that is here instead. So I thought this was a weird move. I, they must have had some issue with these columns. I, I don't know what that's all about. But uh, I like the shapes in here. I think they do a fantastic, the designers are, are really good. Uh, I like the stitching here. This is a soft touch material. Kind of, it almost feels like a basketball. Um, this plastic, you know, you can see it kind of kind of moves a little bit. Uh, they all do that now, but I, I don't remember that being the case on my, uh, the last two ramps. I don't, I don't think, I don't know, it might've been, but you're never really doing this, but you know, it's good and solid. You know, this doesn't feel cheap. Uh, this doesn't really flex at all. Uh, we do have that center console instead of the, you know, and I think it's, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, you can option this with a, a jump seat here. Yeah. Uh, we just didn't like that option. We don't need that option. Yeah. Uh, so we just got the full console. And the storage is really good. So there's no, I don't think this one has wireless charging, or at least it's not working on my phone. Um, but you do have uh, an inverted outlet right there. You have your two USB Type A's, Type C, an aux. They have these things where you can like it will hold your phone for you, yeah, but not charge your phone. And then you do have you know your cords. Lots and lots and lots of storage. It's kind of stupid how much storage there is. Uh, this is adjustable so it slides forward and back so you have more storage. Yeah, there's that's like a wall basically. If you want to close that up, yeah, there, there was a reason for this. I need to watch the video again, but uh, there's a reason you would do that. And then you would do have some information under here, which is kind of a little Easter egg sort of thing. Or it does have the, the little desk that you fold over. I think that's pretty neat. I honestly, I don't think we'd really ever use that. Uh, we're not in the truck lot. Um, and then they give you that, that logo is definitely new. We didn't have that before. We had a Longhorn. Feels nice though. Yeah, yeah. And so, I, and these little subtle things, I, I'm pretty sure this is plastic, but. One thing that's a big deal to me that as a passenger princess, uh, <laughs> the cup holders being left right versus up down like they were in the ford makes a big difference because i know this is my cup holder yep i don't always know which cup holder is mine <laughs> when they're up and down and so i do so it has a big old screen right i mean this is i don't know if it's 12 inches or whatever the heck this is um big old screen here the the plastic around it does it's very fingerprinty like that's a thing um and i find it kind of interesting like they don't put that button here that's not a huge deal, um, but I would have preferred like a matte texture on this like we've had in the past. It's pretty cool though. Um, 
we actually have an update that has to be physically done. It can't do an over-the-air update. We'll have a video on how to disconnect uh, telematics and, and reporting and things like that. Um, but there's a lot of cool features about this. And if we go to CarPlay, the CarPlay looks really nice. I mean, it fills most of the screen. There is Alexa built into this for whatever reason. I think that's ridiculous. Um, and they have a lot of other, like you can see all sort of like off-road pages. Like you can see your temperatures, your vehicle dynamics, steering, how tilted you are, pitch and, there you go, pitch and roll and all that good stuff. So that's really nice and then here's your location um because it does have uh gps and all that built in uh, i also like this function so light check you can activate light check um that's really nice for a for a trailer um let me think yeah there's a lot of stuff in here i do think that the android auto is like half the screen so i it, it whereas this takes up the full screen i think that's a little silly that could be a limitation of android auto though uh, i'm not sure i don't really use that too too much I do like though, um, although they don't have physical buttons for this, um, I do like that they had ventilated and heated seats. That's something we've had in the past. That was really nice. That was just a little button down here though in the past. Um, now you have see. to go into the screen menu, but everything else climate control wise is mm -hmm. built into the screen. Like you have each of us have our side buttons for up and down temperature, frost, defrost mode, you know, ventilation, you know, it's all there. Uh, except well, these aren't vent, these are uh, defrost or, uh, or heater, yeah. But they also have like the uh, recirculate, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything except for the heated seat, ventilated seat buttons are built in. So we'll hope that never poops the bed, yeah. And there, right above that, is a little 12 volt cigarette lighter sort of thing. And then I, I think in the past we have just put a little display there. Oh, we did for our backup camp for our trailers. And a little fun fact uh, we had uh, we had just traded our trailer in and they didn't want that display that we had because it was a chunky unit and so they gave us when we traded in a previous trailer they gave us a, a new uh it was like a thinner a little nicer display and so we had it on the on the seat like on the on the floor rather uh, below the seat and so somebody actually opens our truck up like because I, I we were in the camper and uh that was what it was we traded for the camper and uh and so i guess it unlocked the truck which is something just to know so use a faraday cage if you have a camper uh, they unlocked the truck very sneakily, came in, they stole it off of here, they cut the cable, stole it off of here, ran away as I'm like ready to go chasing them. And uh, and they didn't, there was a brand new one. We're sitting in the box right in front of them. What a buffoon. Right. That was in Nashville, man. But that was, the keyless entry is nice, except for when you're tr in your truck camper, on your truck, and the proximity is close enough that it it's still able to unlock the door even if the key's not in the truck because we had it right above so that is something to know use a faraday like um you can do a little bowl or a little box um use some aluminum foil if you need to whatever can it is your microwave do it too oh yeah we've used the microwave for that um that'll block uh, certain free uh, most most frequencies uh the things are transmitting on so you can do that um but that is just something to know with these and that's with any of this technology some are better than others mm -hmm. uh this one's pretty pretty good range i think yeah. um so yeah and it does have like the, the little sensor you know on this where you can just tap or lock you know all that uh right in the handle there so that's something and then before we move on we do have four high four low two wheel drive it the neutral for the transfer case and then it has held descent control um I don't think I would ever use that, but yeah, hey, nothing wrong with it, I guess, you know, and uh, trailer brake, of course, and then you can adjust uh, here uh, your sensitivities. It does have an exhaust brake, so there's a full exhaust brake, so anytime you let off, it's going to go and slow you down, or um, a smart exhaust brake, which is essentially only turns that on when you have uh, you begun tapping the brakes, and so you don't have to actually activate the brake pads uh, against, um, you know, the discs, but... It will, it will go ahead and slide. I really love that tow haul mode and then um, uh, parking sensors on and off, which our last, both last uh, the last trucks actually had another row for auxiliary switches and it kind of reconfigured some of this. Um, we just never used them, so it wasn't really something we were looking for. I do uh, think we have outfit. it. I think we have it pre-wired though, don't we? I it, no, this one's not pre-wired. Pre I don't think so. It could be the the wiring is in there, but there the are. buttons weren't two i guess three options technically no pre-wiring no switches there is a pre-wire only and then there's a installed switches option for these these trucks that could be i didn't know that yeah, yeah. um which i don't think this one's even pre-wired but it doesn't matter because we don't have buttons for it so uh it, we would have to do like a little control box or something like that which in the past i've thought about we've we just never it. done it. we've done it before we added no i don't think we ever did we, added we thought control. it we thought about it like for a for a light bar um yeah 
Um, and I think some of those can actually give up to like 30 amps. And, uh, no, that's not right. It's like 10 or 10 or 20 amps. Anyways, um, yeah, so th those are they're cool if you're gonna use them, but we just don't. Uh, now on your side though, so we have the glove box down there. Yep, we got our glove box. And those, notice there is a, uh, a handle. Yeah, there's <laughs> a handle. Just no, no stupid button in here. There's also a Laramie badge on this compartment, which has a button. So and then just another little and they do storage compartment. Put that little rubber mat in there. So, you know, if you put your uh, flashlights and such in there, that's actually a nice feature. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I have full controls over my, my vents. Dual zone AC. So she can be cooler than I am uh, or vice versa. Usually it's vice versa. And I also have, um, I also have a little like magazine rack here on the side mm -hmm. so I can on store both sides, yeah. books and things. One thing that I don't particularly love, like I have plenty of foot room, but this bump kind of takes up just a tiny bit of my toe space on my left mm. foot if I'm not sitting, just, just gotta twist just a tiny bit over. Oh, it's it's not a big that. deal, not a big deal at all, but it does, it's just a little comfort thing where if I'm sitting too far over, I do notice it. Yep, and so here's another button for our tailgate. Uh, let's see, lights on or off for uh, when you open the door. You have uh, assist, we're gonna, of course, disable that. It appears to some of your controls for the skylight, which I think makes a big difference. Because again, I think this looks really slick, all black. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to finally have that this time. Without the skylight, it got really dark in here. And especially being the passenger yeah. looking towards Joel a lot, like mm -hmm. it just makes it feel way brighter. And it's not like I'm looking through a tunnel at him. And for me, I actually, so I can't see out of this this uh, of this eye, so it really doesn't make that much of a difference for me, like looking up and getting light. Um, it, but it's great for ventilation, especially when, you know, it's in the winter, but you, you know, the dogs are in here. Um, it, maybe even it's raining, it still doesn't leak in here, which is great, but it gives them some, so it's not fogging up. Um, even like on a, you know, 60 something degree day, usually it's pretty fine. We'll crack all of the windows, but you know, nobody can reach in and unlock the door, you know, steal our door. So, uh, that's kind of a nice, a nice thing along with that back window. Um, no, it's, it's definitely, I think it's worth it. Um, it, but yeah, you got some, some controls for that, but let's take a look at the engine and I'm telling you, this thing is quiet. It's very quiet. It's even quieter than all last ones. Oh my goodness. All right. Popping the hood. All right. She's good and warmed up now. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I might have been a liar. No, that, I guess I am a liar. That's interesting, because looking at this here, that we we looked at that 3500, and there was no. Am I wrong? There was absolutely no air coming in whatsoever. Am I right? Yeah. And here I am actually seeing a little bit of air. So, you know, I might take that out. I'm gonna. Oh no, yeah, here, give me that. Let me show you. There is some light. Okay, I am, uh, I am, I take that back. I'm wrong. I'm gonna leave that in there though because somebody else might consider that. That's kind of interesting. These ones, obviously though, they, there's nothing coming in from the sides. So these are just for, just for show. But no, I guess that is actually functional. I eat my words. I eat my words. So 6.7 liter Cummins inline six. It's a very good motor. Um, very well regarded. Of course, here's your air, your battery, all that good stuff. Um, and I like that they do give you a little bit more uh, structure here. So it helps with the twisting and such. This guy has a massive fan in here and huge benefit over our other diesel, uh, which is that, you know, it can cool much more efficiently and apparently uh, get more air in here. So that actually explains why there's dirt um, on this guy. And while it's not the high output engine, I think it's more than adequate uh, for everything we have ever needed to do and likely would ever realistically do. Two batteries, of course, and I think this guy does have a 220 amp alternator, uh, which is kind of cool for, you know, towing. You have a fuse box here and a few more fuses back there. Uh, more on that in the future. Everything's pretty easy to get to. Um, I don't know about the fuel filters because I actually never swapped the fuel filters on any of these trucks. But one thing that does stand out is it's easy to check and fill your oil, but getting to the oil filter, actually again i think this is really a, a benefit to the ford it's a lot easier to access the oil filter on the ford whereas here you have to go through there and so there's some things that like you got to be careful with right uh, trying you, know, you don't pre-fill these i guess or you might go like halfway or something like that but then you allow the oil pump to sort of work um that's very interesting to me so not as uh, easy as i you know uh, but some folks don't care they'll just take it to a mechanic anyways um we're folks that like to 
do as much as we can on our own uh, and especially learn because these things aren't that scary we've also never had it happen to us thankfully <laughs> so knock on knock on truck but uh we've also heard of folks going in getting the oil changed and they just don't refill ruins a, a motor so that's cool not an issue we're gonna have but but yeah so no it's a it's a fantastic i'm actually really i really am surprised uh because it, other folks actually agreed that it's it's just for looks. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. Um, but no, hey, there there we go. I'm so glad it's not just a you know just we do have a tow tow uh, hooks here, front and rear, and then we do have a spare tire. Look at that guy right under there. You can see that. And apparently, you know, 25 versus 3500, the the frame's not quite as beefy. Although this is a pretty good frame. I mean, obviously they're they're very good frames still. But listen to this, with the, the, the hood up, so it's going to be a little bit louder, listen to this. That's it. Like, we're still having a conversation. I can talk a little quieter, right? Now, the fan is a lot noisier than the engine itself. You can see that. Let me just walk around here. Why is that a motor? And from the exhaust? next to nothing. Absolutely next to nothing. I'm going to just close that hood just to get a, a little better example. Next to nothing. Can you take it to like 2,000 RPMs? It's still really not that bad. And from the back, yeah, pretty dang quiet. Kill it. No, really not bad at all. Um, now, 31 gallon fuel tank, and I forgot to mention, it does have diesel, uh, well, DEF, diesel exhaust fluid, a diesel particulate filter, which are the weakest part of today's trucks. Like that's a, you know, that's a whole thing. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, to be honest, you don't smell anything. This is a pretty clean vehicle. Um, this is a pretty dang, unlike Lenny, who is, well, now, especially now that we've removed that muffler, which was just a muffler, not like there's no uh, particular filter or catalytic converter. There was no EGR on that thing. That thing, yeah, he can, he can breathe better, but uh, nobody else can. <laughs> so <laughs> I love Lenny. This guy is pretty, uh, pretty damn clean. So you can also, uh, so Ram says you cannot run it off of 100% biodiesel, but up to 20%, five to 20% is just fine. Uh, but you want to get the highest quality you can. Uh, I guess there's also, I've never used um, a diesel exhaust fluid, like a DEF tester, but I guess you can even test for the quality of DEF. Um, that's a whole thing. That's just something we haven't never had an issue with and I hope never to have an issue with. So I don't, I'm not a big fan of all that crap. I know that other folks have uh, uh, retuned them and done some other things that is illegal, you know. Um, at least while we're under warranty, that's how we're gonna touch that. So. <laughs> um, but we do want to make a few modifications. And I think on this guy, it's going to be pretty inexpensive overall. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking running boards, all black running boards. Yep. Um, they, they were cool. They were actually going to give us a little bit of a deal on them uh, from Ram. Uh, and they were 500, he, he said a little over 515 bucks or something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, I think MSRP on those was like 600. So I was like, ah, but we have installed them in the past and they're a couple of bolts. You do have to hold them up, but it's not that bad. So you can find them for 200 bucks or less. 200 bucks on Amazon. So we'll, we'll do that um, because that, you know, hey, I like my comfort feature. I think it, it actually would. It's, it's a little bit of a jump up. And then the other thing that we've always done is uh, 5%, <laughs> 10 all the way around. And uh, so I don't know that we're going to do five on this one. We'll see. We'll see. But um, I do think tinting is nice because here in Seattle, especially, uh, and we did this on um, the Integra Steam, is it's it's really like one safety and and folks that can easily see in you know that's a whole thing and here's the deal right the person actually saw what looked like a small tv or something like that in the front something that looked expensive so they actually saw that from the front um not from the side though like you really can't see in no. um no. yeah and, and now with this really dark it's not going to reflect more light around a bounced light around um which is kind of a nice thing Let's see, what else is there to say? I don't think we really need to change much beyond that. No, I love this truck. 
It's a great truck. They're, the only tiny gripe I have is that little foot thing. The little foot thing, but it's also a very small thing. Look like that, um, which it's not an issue for the, the driver, of course. This, now that I know that it's functional, I actually, it doesn't bother me as much as it did. Yeah. But aesthetically, it's still a little like, really? You know what I mean? But um, that and, um, oh shoot, what was the other thing? The steering wheel. Steering wheel. Why did I take that away? I, I, I know there was a reason. I, I've heard that uh, the front ends, like the axles on the Rams are not as strong as the competition. From what I've heard. Um, we've never had a problem. But I will say we have not put 100 plus thousand miles on these. We've only put up to 60, 80. 80? Was it 80? Something like that. So, you know, take that as you will. I don't know. It, it's, I would not trust a long-term review until like 100 plus thousand miles. And it is a shame because a lot of folks are like, oh yeah, you could totally get 200,000 miles. I'm like, you should be able to get, especially for constantly these things, way over that, right? And uh, that's part of the reason that we have, you know, we really like the idea at least. So they hold their value pretty well. We also like the idea of keeping things for a very long time. If the product is good enough, we'll keep it for a long time. If it's a good tool, um, because we're really not brand loyal, but they just, you know, Ram hasn't pissed us off so bad, you know? Yeah. Yet. Um, so I, I think there, the other thing, of course, that, by the way, that will change is, is uh, the, the tele, telematics, telecommunications. We're going to pull that crap out of here. We're not doing that. But, but beyond that, uh, we're hoping that this lasts a whole lot longer than a gasser. Um, you know, I've heard the 6.4 liters pretty fine. I, the 6.6, it's not a Vortec anymore, I don't think, from GM, but I've heard that. That's a pretty good gas. And the 7.3, I don't like that engine. I just don't. I don't. Yeah. It pissed me off. Ford pissed me off with that one. So, um, anything else to say about this? No, I love it. I'm happy. I am, I'm just, uh, I'm very excited to do some towing. And most importantly, we will not be putting this thing to its limit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, can, you can tow 19,000 pounds. We won't be towing even 10,000 pounds. I think, I think they're going to be pretty surprised at what we end up towing. Don't say more. I, I, I just, more. that's all I'm saying. I think you guys are going to be very surprised at what we end up towing. Don't say more. I don't know. We'll see. Come a couple months. Joel's bad at secrets. He better not tell you guys. I don't know. You know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the other thing is like, we did get this quite a few months in advance. Uh, we could have waited, but I mean, prices, you don't know if the they're going to go through the roof or what the price is right the deal is right we were able to get it under msrp which is unheard of in this area at least yeah and and as a matter of fact not even this area we had to go to another state yeah and we already talked about this but really we've had still they, you called them today to just ask a couple questions mm -hmm. what great customer service hey yeah. they actually call you back they actually call you back and you can hear them like just they're smiling they're just good folks yeah. finley ram post falls not Talk a bunch of scumbags yeah chris and uh there's another Chris, and there's Matt, and then there's uh, Sierra. Oh, just great folks. Great. So anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? Don't trash it. I can't handle it. <laughs> or do, I don't care. It's not your truck, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. let us know your thoughts. Uh, why did you go with something like this? Or why did you go with something else if you ended up picking up a pickup truck? And I think eventually we're gonna have to do an all-in-one motorized unit versus a truck and trailer comparison. I think that's gonna be a good, uh, deal we'll obviously we'll have like a 10,000 mile update you know our thoughts um what questions you guys have we'll see you in the next one i guess bye bye